Hey, hi everyone. In this session, we will discuss how to write a Java program for Fibonacci series. Yes, we'll be writing a simple program to print Fibonacci series. So before writing a program, let's try to understand what exactly Fibonacci series is. If you can see on the screen, there are some numbers 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. So these are, this is nothing but the Fibonacci series. And if you carefully notice these numbers, you will find one pattern into these numbers. There is a one pattern. So if I add first number 0 and the second number 1, 0 plus 1, these two, 0 plus 1, it will give me next number 1. If I add 1 plus 1, it gives me next number 2. If I add 2 plus 1, it gives me 3 and 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 3 13 and so on 13 plus 8 21 and we can keep on doing this so the pattern is like addition of two numbers gives me the next number right so this is called Fibonacci series now we'll be writing a code program to print this kind of number and we'll write a java program so let's see the demo now so i have eclipse editor and herein i have created a simple java class whose name is fibonacci and this is a main method so uh, let me quickly copy this for our reference so in the editor as a comment i will paste this series so this is the output we want this is the output this is the fibonacci series which we want to print so let's see how we can do that so as as we know the first two numbers are 0 and 1 which is fixed in every case they are not going to change so i'll take two numbers let's say int first is equal to 0 and int second is equal to 1 so in Fibonacci series these two starting numbers will always remain fixed Fibonacci series starts from 0 and if we add 0 1 it gives me the second number and uh, now the question comes how long we want to print this series let's say I want to print till n numbers n is equal to 10 for example I can print 100 times but for simplicity I'll try to print these 10 numbers 0 1 so the number of these digits are 10 so for n terms I would like to print this series okay so I'll use simple for loop so my for loop will start from i is equal to 1 and it should be equal to i is equal to 10 i plus plus because i would like to print 10 terms in the series so that's why i'm using a simple for loop and here in the for loop max counter i have given 10 so this for loop will iterate 10 times which means it will print the numbers 10 times but uh, we have to make sure that we are not printing <laughs> 1 2 3 4 5 6 natural numbers till 10 in fact we would like to print the Fibonacci series in order to do that the logic which I'm gonna use is like uh, the third I'll take one more variable int third int third is always the addition of first and second This is the core logic of Fibonacci series that if we add first term and second term it gives me third term so 0 plus 1 will, will give me 1 so we will print 1 but again we have to move on right so for that what I'll do I'll replace first with second and I'll replace second with third 
right so every time i'm just shifting towards right so what whatever was first whatever was second i will make it first and whatever we got after addition of these two numbers i'll make it second and this way it will keep on going right in the for loop i'll keep on adding first second and i'll keep on changing the first and second variable with second and third respectively okay and for printing i'll use system dot out dot print and here in i'll print first and i'm just concatenating it with one space okay so i'll start with first i'm printing first uh, the variable first only and this is the magic i'm printing first but i'll get the whole series let's see how um, now what i'll do i'll execute this and we will see the output and after that i'll explain one more time what exactly i have done in this code okay so let's see the execution now here you go as you can notice we have got the output 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 and you can match right over here right so we have got these Fibonacci series up to 10 terms so if I count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so till 34 there are 10 terms in this right because max we have taken 10 if I want to print 20 Fibonacci 20 terms for Fibonacci series I'll just change the value of n and if I run rerun this program so we'll see the output for I think I haven't saved I think here I need to do n because the value of n is changing now it was 10 already here so if I rerun again so I should see the output for 20 terms so this is the Fibonacci series for 20 terms huge number okay so this is how we get the Fibonacci series so let me uh, let me give you a quick summary what exactly I have done for Fibonacci series from the Fibonacci series the core concept was the third term is the result of addition of first and second and that's what I have written in the within the for loop and since in first iteration I will get this one right but in another iteration I would like to get two and two I can get only when I'll add these two so for this whatever the value was in the second variable I stored in the first and whatever the addition I got I stored in the second right which means first will become second and second will become the third in the forward direction and I started uh, printing with first because first was zero and I would like to start my Fibonacci series with zero so that's why I have printed zero and when control goes down the value of first gets changed here second then in second iteration I'll get the second value and every time the value of first is getting changed with second right and second is getting with change third so that's why if I print only first variable I'll get the entire series okay so this is a pretty uh, small program but uh, we need to understand what exactly Fibonacci series is and what is the pattern and what is the logic behind the Fibonacci series and this is the most uh, frequently asked interview questions whenever it comes to simple programming questions uh, based on numbers and for loops because this checks your logics how you identify the pattern and how you uh, change these variables and how you can configure the number of terms right so this was the uh, Fibonacci series program and that's what I wanted to discuss in this session today. Alright. So thank you so much.
for watching bye bye